Hey everyone, so this is going to be my skin masterclass for really radiant dewy skin. So I'm starting off with the multi hydrating action toner and I'm just cleaning the face. This is a very hydrating toner so it doesn't really strip the skin. And optimal brightening concentrate. Um, this is a really great serum. It has um, high um, quality of vitamin C in it. And I just like to massage this into the skin. It's a really good product to use every day uh, but I like to put it as a first step. And this is just going to really give a nice radiant glow to the skin. Then Luminous Moisture Cream. So this is a very hydrating cream. I'm just going to place it throughout the center of the face here. And then I'm going to massage it in. It's a really great cream if you have dry skin. Um, you want kind of like a really moisturized look. Um, sometimes you seem to use aqua gel. So depending if you have oily skin, that's a better choice for you. Um, and I like to just really kind of massage this fully in. Then this is the Tinted Glow Booster. It looks like a foundation, but it's not. It's um, our new Glow Booster. This is in the color Light. And I'm just going to press this in through the forehead, center of the face, on the cheeks, and then really massage it in. This, you've seen me use on previous videos. You can put it under the foundation, in it, or on top. Um, sometimes I do multiple applications of it. Um, it comes in four shades. And then the Total Refreshing Eye Cream. And I'm actually going to mix in the Tinted Glow Booster with it. And I'm just going to massage this under the eye. I like always putting a hydrating product in, like an illuminating product in with the moisturizer under the eye because um, it just gives a really nice glow under the concealer. Then this is the Aptiglow Lip Balm and Clean Cut. And I like to massage it into lips too. It really helps get the blood flow going. Then this is the Multiple in Copacabana. And I'm going to actually pre-light. So this is going to go underneath the foundation. So it's going to be top of the cheekbone and um, use my finger and really blend it in. And by layering your highlighter underneath the foundation, it just looks like a really natural lit within glow. Then down the center of the nose, I'm also going to apply it onto the cupid's bow. And then finally on the chin. And these are all the areas I want to bring out. So I want her chin to be a little bit more forward. So um, I'm also going to use it on the eyes. This is going to be a really great base for um, what I'm going to do with the eyes later. So just all the places you want to glow. So don't think that you have to do exactly like me. Just put it where it works for your face. Then this is Soft Matte Complete Concealer, and I'm just going to spot correct before I do foundation any areas where she might have some redness or a spot or dryness. So I'm just using a brush to pat it in and then use my finger to blend it out. Then Sheer Glow. Um, this is DeVille, so it's a lighter shade, um, but because the Tinted Glow Booster has some color, it really works. And if you see me do skin before, you know I love using hands. It's, very, um, it's a NARS method, which we use a lot. Um, my hands are sanitized, so um, it's one of the best tools I like to do to create a really flawless, beautiful skin. And you'll see after I kind of push it in with my fingers, I then use the palm of my hand to press it, almost like a sponge, and I'm just massaging this into the skin. It gives you just a really gorgeous, natural, flawless finish. Then Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I'm going to use, um, this is our 42 brush. Uh, it's an eye blending brush. I love to use it for concealer because it gives this almost like airbrushed effect under the eye. And I'm just using circular motions and blending that under. Then this is Orgasm Liquid Blush, and I'm actually mixing in a little of the sheer glow with it, and then using my fingers and going from the apple of the cheek back. By mixing in the foundation with it, it just gives it a really soft, natural look. Then a little bit on the eyes, so I'm pressing this on over the Copacabana on the eyes. Then this is the Light Reflecting Press Powder, and I'm pushing it in. This is the Pro Brush, um, I think the number five, and then Capri Highlighter. So this is going to go over the eyelids, and because it's a powder, it's going to set all those cream and liquid products. And then I'm also going to go on the cheekbones and a little down the bridge of the nose, and this is a really beautiful highlight. Then this is a new blush that's coming out um, this spring. It's called Zen. And it has like a really nice neutral shade. And I'm using it to just add a little definition to the cheeks and to deepen the blush. And then I'm going to use the 42 brush. And I'm just going to put this through the crease. And then on the outside of the eye, I'm just winging it up towards the temples just to kind of elongate the eye. It's a very natural eye look. Um, so it's just going to add a little bit of definition. Then pear soap, I'm going to comb up the brows. She has really beautiful full brows. So I'm not going to add any color to them. Then Climax Mascara, and what I like to do is I use a fan brush, which is a small little brush, and it allows me to get right to the root of the lash. So this is great because I'm not doing any eyeliner, so I want the 
lashes to look very defined and the eye to be shaped a little bit better at the lash line. Then finally, this is our lipstick in Shanghai Express. It's one of the best-selling red lipsticks NARS makes. I love it. It's very kind of like bricky neutral red. Um, and I just wanted to pop a color on the lips because the skin is glowing, the eyes are very minimal. And that's my completed look. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.